I see the galaxy revolving through time, exploring various emotions in my mind. Yeah. My blue aura shine light, like the mighty power. So in the final hour, darkness will cower, because most evil deeds manifest through fear, and feelings change with the season. Have we created the ideal situation for the individual human to flourish with their potential? Or have we limited our chances of tasting our potential due to constant outside distractions, which inherently keep us from diving inward and understanding ourselves on a deeper level? Parkour connects you back with nature and gets you in touch with your primal intuition to understand the limitations of the body. It gets you back in touch with the way the human body was meant to be used. As children, we knew intuitively how to use our bodies, climbing trees, playing on the playground, using our imaginations to create challenges for ourselves. We called it playing. Then slowly, we began to be told how this sort of thinking was wrong and that we really should keep both feet on the ground and stick to the artificial restraints that humanity imposes on itself in order for us to grow up. The human story begins thousands and thousands of years ago. We were hunters and gatherers, chasing bison and climbing treetops for shelter. We find ourselves today hopelessly attached to plasma screen TVs, video games, cell phones, and all other external stimulation this modern world has to offer. In our current point on the timeline of the human story, we can admit that there is a strong disconnection from the human organism. So let's take a look at how parkour gets you more in touch with your human organism as a whole. Parkour athletes all around the world are performing incredible physical feats with their bodies. Parkour utilizes all the muscle groups of the body, engaging the muscular system for its original intention, to move. Whether using running, jumping, climbing, quadrupedal movement, swinging, vaulting, or rolling, the parkour athlete gets from point A to point B in the most efficient way possible. If we've learned anything about evolution, it's that if a species has a hard time moving, then they make easy prey and have a hard time surviving as a species. But most parkour athletes around the world would also agree that parkour is only 20% physical and 80% mental. The mind is used in a very interesting way while training parkour because there's a sense of real-time problem solving happening within the action of training. Solving intense mathematical equations and algorithms, paths of trajectory, and using an accurate sense of measurement without really having to think about it. It's just happening in real time and space. Parkour also activates the mind's ability to think creatively. Over time of practicing parkour, a practitioner will watch the world around them transform from a dull and mundane environment into a beautiful playground filled with hundreds of opportunities for self-improvement. A wall is no longer a dead end, but is instead a new challenge and an adventure to be had. A handrail is no longer just a handrail, but instead becomes a prop for the practitioner to perfect their techniques. Dissolving the boundaries that once held them captive, the parkour athlete does not feel confined by their environment, but instead feels an intense feeling of freedom, physically and mentally. Parkour training also can help a practitioner to harness and control their emotions. In our society today, we tend to shy away from things that scare us and stay confined within our fear of the unknown. But parkour teaches you how to approach the emotion of fear with logic and understanding. And through trial and error, you learn to conquer fear on a regular basis. This act alone creates a stronger individual from the inside out. In parkour training, progression occurs only just outside of your comfort zone. So, Parkour teaches the practitioner that in order for them to reach their next stage in their personal evolution, they must confront their fears and accomplish what they once thought to be an impossible task for them to conquer. I think it's safe to say that the human species now is living in an era that's extremely disconnected from nature. We have seen the world change, as we just saw. Pollution is at an all-time high. The destruction of our planet is at an all-time high. Parkour creates a very holistic understanding over time of our place in the universe. And this understanding brings you back with nature. 
It gets you back in touch with the way the human body was meant to be used. In our society today, we are disconnected from the moment, and parkour gets you back in touch with the moment. When an advanced parkour pra practitioner is preparing for a roof jump, their mindset is not thinking about bills they need to pay or responsibilities nagging at them from their outside lives, but rather they're completely surrendered to the moment and all the possibilities it has to offer them. We live in a culture today that is hypnotized by the illusion of time, where the present moment is felt as nothing but an infinitesimal hairline in between a powerfully causative past and an absorbingly important future. We keep our consciousness caged in memory and expectation, never accounting that the present moment is all there will ever be. So parkour gets the practitioner in touch with reality, the reality of now, the present experience, and this is where you find your hidden human potential. And I say hidden because in our current state as a collective humanity, we don't activate our entire human organism, which means we don't use our entire potential. Parkour has taught me a lot of valuable lessons in my life. The most important is to not forget your roots and where we came from. As children, we ran, we jumped, we climbed, we explored, we wondered, and we were imaginative. You don't stop playing because you grow up. You grow up because you stop playing.